this is Robert Price. So um, I have two things uh, or two examples I want to show you um, that you can do on that dominant chord, okay? So today we're going to be in the key of A flat, A flat major, okay? All right? Now, uh, I was playing a song and it did a chromatic movement to get to a dominant chord, okay? So this high sound, it was like this. Okay? Now, all of those chords were dominant chords, but we end on that B flat dominant. And after I got there, we had to hang out. So this is in a song that um, we were playing and I did this run and this one I'm gonna show you today. Okay, so I'm gonna show you that run. And that's pretty simple but um, it still sound pretty good, uh, to me at least, okay? So I thought it'd be pretty cool to share it. Uh, so the the way I got to that um, was since we're on that B flat dominant, right? Uh, I played a, a bebop dominant scale, okay? That's essentially what I did. So the way you, uh, you know, get to that point is you think about the B flat major scale, okay? Just a regular major scale. And you add one more note to it, which is that flat seven, okay? That's what makes it dominant, okay? That flat seven, which is that A flat. So now it's gonna sound like this. Okay? So that's why in the run, uh, we saw A flat. So here we go, I'm just gonna show you the notes. So in the left hand, you can play uh, um, B flat and F, okay? Okay? Or you can play A flat with it. Okay? You hear that? So that's up to you. So, um, here, here we go. Here go the notes. So I don't just start off and play it. I kind of wait a second after I play the chord. You hear? So here we go. Um, B flat. Then you walk it down chromatically to the A. Then A flat. So just those three so far. Then you go down the scale. You go to F. Okay. And you keep going down to E flat. Now at the E flat, you're going to do this. Okay. A lot of chromatic notes. Okay. So after the E flat, you play C, C sharp, and then D. Okay. And you finish the run off with A flat, A, and A flat, okay? So, uh, pretty straightforward, simple run. Okay? After you practice it and get it under your fingers, it, it'll get pre pretty simple, so. Okay? And um, I finish it out with this. Now, um, in most settings, you, you can, you're probably going to hear that. You're probably going to hear that, whether it's church, jazz. Uh, I mean, I've even heard it in like neo soul or like a lot of soulful music. You know, you can do that over your dominant chord. OK, so for B flat, I'm going to uh, show you what you can play. So you have B flat, D and G. OK, that's the first one. And then you just walk it down chromatically. So A. These are minor chords, just, you just use the minor chords. All right, this is A, C sharp, and F sharp. And then the last one is A, uh, a flat, C, and F, okay? I apologize if I'm going too fast. Uh, so here we go, this is, you may have to rewind it. So here we go with the run and the chords. So just remember, when you're on a dominant chord, okay, and you have a little bit of time, you can think about the bebop scale, okay? That dominant bebop scale. And um, this is just one example, okay? Okay? Um, of course, we could do three, four runs and stuff like that, but I do want you to at least practice that, okay? And then you could transpose it 
to um, other keys, okay? All right, so that's the first one. Uh, here go another example. Now we're gonna stay in A flat and uh, we're gonna go to the five now. This right here is a E flat dominant, okay? So at least you're getting two examples on two different chords. That's pretty much the whole idea, okay? Um, but the way I'm playing is just to give you these notes first before I um, tell you what I'm gonna do. This right here is, uh, I have the E flat tritone in my left hand, C sharp, and then G. And then in my right hand, I have C sharp, G, and B flat, okay? And I just resolved it to E flat. So I'm just thinking about a five one, okay? So when I show you this next, um, you know, this next progression, it's just gonna be five for one. That's how I'm thinking about it, okay? All right. Now, uh, this is what you can do. You can substitute the uh, um, a diminished chord for a dominant chord. So instead of doing this, you can do this. Okay. And that just yeah, C sharp diminished. So you have C sharp, E, G, and B flat. Okay. Now, I know some of you probably have already used this before. Some of you may have not. So that'd be a good way to practice it. But also do every inversion, okay? You know, just so you can get used to that. But I do want to extend it a little bit. Uh, a lot of you can do this. Okay? That's one way. So this is actually not what I was going to show you. I, the, the chord is what I was going to show you. But I want to show you a scale that you can use, okay? But um, this just kind of came to my mind, so I'll just, you know, share it with you. So this is another way you can play it. You can do C sharp, E, and G, but instead of playing B flat, you can do C. Okay? All right? Um, all right, here go another way. You can do this. So um, these ideas are just kind of coming to me. This is the stuff that I do. Um, when I'm in E flat on the five, instead of just playing a regular dominant chord, I take that diminished chord and I just, I don't know, I just play around with it. Okay. Okay. And um, I play in church. So, um, you know, if I have strings or honestly without strings, I can, you know, do this um, on the five, then go to the one. You know, so what I'm doing um, in my left hand, I start on C and then I walk up to the C sharp or D flat and then E flat. Now, once I get to that E flat, I do that to bring that tension. OK, uh, you can do this in, you know, different situations. You just got to play it by ear. OK, so you have E, G, B flat and you stretch to that E flat. OK. Okay, and then C sharp, and then, okay, so instead of doing this, you have options now. You can do this, that's the first option, the second option, it's the third option. Oh, um, and by the way, I don't know if I gave you that left hand. The left hand is E flat. B flat and D flat or C sharp, okay? And that's if that's assuming uh you don't have a bass player, you can probably just or if you do, or you can do this. Okay? So you could just go straight to it and do this. Or you can do this. Okay? I'll leave that up to you. But what I really want to share was the half whole scale, okay? When you're doing a diminished, when you're playing a diminished chord, you can think about the half whole scale, okay? Now, you remember I said we're on the five, so which is E flat. So we're gonna start on E flat. And I hope I'm uh, I'm kind of all over the place. A lot of times in these videos, um, thoughts just come to mind. So that's why I kind of went off a little bit and showed you, you know, different ways you can play the chord. But here we go, let's start on E flat. Now we're doing a half whole. That's all we're gonna do. So you do a half step up to the E, whole step, F sharp, half step, G, 
whole step, A, half step, all right, that's that B flat, whole step, C, half step, C sharp, then whole step, E flat, okay? So that's your scale. So uh, you can play with it, and you can still use your left hand um, shelling, so you can do... So if you wanted to do this still, now you have a run, you know, that you can kind of add with that. So now you can do, okay? Now, of course, you got to practice the timing on it, okay? But I feel like this is a good way if you're a kind of intermediate, you know, um, even advanced, you know, this is something you can play around with, you know? And uh, you definitely don't want to start on E flat every single time. You can start on C. Uh, okay. Um, you know, you can just, just practice it, play around with it, start anywhere. Okay. So I just want to give you that, that tool pretty much, okay? So really practice that. You have um, a run on a dominant chord. Um, we use that B flat on the B flat, but when we went to the E flat, you know, we use some examples. So what would be really good in this case if you can combine it and say, okay, I'm gonna take that run that I did on that B flat dominant and I'm actually gonna use it on E flat because you can do that. Remember, it's just dominant chord. So if you're on the dominant chord, you can take the run that we did early and put it and um, you know transpose it to E flat. Okay, so um, I hope this helped. Uh, let me know if it did. Um, you know, like, subscribe, share. All right, and um, talk to you soon.